Here you go. Thanks. Welcome to vlog 73. Right now I'm here at Cannon Beach with my family because we decided to go to the beach for the New Year's week ish. Yeah. I don't know, a few days. There's something on the list here at the beach that we are coming here to tackle and it's the Tillamook Trailhead, but the first part of the, the trailhead is actually closed. So we're gonna do a smaller part of it, just my dad and I, because of that. And this beauty. All right, so that's what's popping. We're gonna spend a few days at the beach. Yes, that's what's popping, Sarah. We had just made it to the lighthouse viewpoint and it was all foggy and stuff. So we were on our way on our way back and I almost missed these World War II bunkers, which was like one of the things I really wanted to see. Totally just could have walked past because on the way here, we walked past both of these two bunkers and here they are like super hidden in the woods. It's like, it's, they're super cool looking. Anyway. We finished up the hike not too long ago and then uh, we stopped here for like a restroom stop or something. It's a really nice view. I can see a haystack rock from here. It's still here at Cannon Beach, but now we're gonna head to Garibaldi, which is like a little bay, if you know the area close to Rockaway Beach. And we're staying in like a beach house thing there that um, a friend, a family friend owns. That's where we're heading to now. And uh, apparently today is the last like nice day of the week. So I'm trying to get as many drone shots, as many shots as possible today before the weather changes. So yeah, we'll see what else the day has in store as we head to Garibaldi. We're going to Garibaldi next, right? right. All right, cool. Right.
Hey mom, would you mind explaining what this place is? Cherry Lynn Charters is the charter, fish charter company that my best friend's family owns. All summer long they go out to do fishing trips and right now it's crabbing season so tomorrow morning they will take the crabbing, the boat out and pick up all the crab pots which look like these things behind you. And so this is the crabbing and fish area but up there is where we're staying? Yeah, upstairs is the apartment. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it a day for now, call it a night. Um, right now I'm actually uploading the, uh, the vlog that came out for you guys last Tuesday. It's been a beautiful day and depending on what the weather is like tomorrow, there's another place on the list that I'm gonna hit up, but if the weather's not good, we'll see what happens. So because of the weather today, we didn't really do much. As you could tell, it was like super rainy as I kind of thought it was gonna be. We did go to Tillamook, but I've actually been there before in a vlog that I did over a year ago. So I mean, if you wanna see some of that prime high quality content go ahead and go watch it please don't uh, we also went to the store today and i grabbed one of these ball things and i thought it was a bouncy ball so i threw it at the ground it wasn't a bouncy ball so it cracked and so now i, I bought it and i don't know what it is it says surprise animals um so now that we're not doing anything today and this vlog is coming to a close, I wanted to spend a little bit of time talking about the new year. This year, I'm gonna make one resolution that I'm gonna focus on and that I will get. My new year's resolution of 2020 is to get 1,000 subscribers and I will get that because I'm going to work to get it. I have a lot of really good feelings about this year. Um, 2019 was a roller coaster. I went out of the country for my first time ever and that was like a huge highlight of my year. And this year it's looking like I'm gonna be able to do that again to a new country and then back to the Philippines. So Lord willing that will happen and that's gonna be another crazy adventure that I'm insanely excited about. And plus I just have a lot of big decisions to make this year. So 2020 I can't wait to get to the end of it and look back and see what happened. Hopefully it's good stuff, and if not, hopefully I learn a lot from the bad stuff, because good and bad is gonna happen for sure. Tell me how the weather's like in 2020. It's probably the same as it is right now in 2019. Yeah, all right. <laughs>